Sugod na ta. In the circuit in figure 2.76, obtain V1, V2, and V3. So, let us assume that the direction is from negative to positive. This is only an assumed direction. Just be consistent. So, from negative to positive. Then, let's create a loop. This would be your loop 1. Loop 2. And loop 3. At loop 1, you have voltages of 20 volts, 25 volts, 10 volts, and V1. Then, from your KVL, so, your 20 volts has the same direction with your loop. So therefore, it would be a positive 20 volts. Your 20 volts is the same direction with your loop. So therefore, it would be a positive 25 volts. Then your 10 volts is opposing the direction of your loop. So therefore, it would be a negative 10 volts. Your V1 also opposes the direction of your loop. So it would be a negative V1 is equal to 0. Now, let us simplify. So, 20 plus 25 minus 10. So, you will have 35. Transpose your V1 to your right-hand side. So, you have V1. Then, we can say that your V1 is equal to 35 volts. So, at loop 2, we have the voltages of 10 volts, 15 volts, and V2. Your 15 volts opposes the direction of your loop, so therefore, it would be a negative 15 volts. Your V2 is in the same direction going with your loop, so therefore, it would be a positive V2. Your 10 volts has the same direction with your loop, so it would be a positive 10 volts is equal to 0. or simplifying the equation, so you have negative 15 plus 10, so you have negative 5 plus V2 is equal to 0. Transposing negative 5 to your right hand side, so we'll have V2 is equal to positive 5 volts. So at loop 3, you have the voltages of V2, V3, and V1. So at loop 3. So you have V1, which is positive, because it is the same direction with your loop. So you have V1. Your V2 opposes the direction of your loop, so you have negative V2. Your V3 also opposes the direction of your loop, so that would be negative v3 is equal to 0. We have the values for your v1 and v2. Now we can solve for your v3. So therefore, we can say that your v3 is equal to v1 minus v2. Substituting the values of your v1 and v2, so you have v1 which is equal to 35. Then the value of your v2 is equal to 5. So your V3 is equal to 35 minus 5, so you have 30 volts. Therefore, your V1 is equal to 35 volts, and your V2 is equal to 5 volts, and your V3 is equal to 30 volts.